Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a full comparison of my Chanel Mini Square Classic Flap and my Chanel Wallet on Chain. I'm gonna be doing an in-depth review so that you guys can make a decision if you're looking or in the market for one of these two bags. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my Chanel Wallet on Chain. Now there are some differentiations between the two. You'll notice instantaneously that this Wallet on Chain is in the caviar leather in the beige clear with silver hardware. And my Chanel mini classic flap in square is in the lambskin with the champagne gold. This item I purchased pre-loved from Fashion File about a year ago, and my Chanel mini square was purchased from the Neiman Marcus Chanel Boutique about three years ago. This one was purchased at full price. At the time that I purchased it, it was $3,500 from retail. I believe the price now has gone up exponentially. I will try and link that down for you below. And this item, as I mentioned, was purchased pre-loved from Fashion File, and I believe I purchased it for $100 more than the going rate at the time. This was about last year, so this was on or around uh, $3,300 if I remember correctly, but I'll link it down below for you as well. This is not laying flat as the wallet on chains often do. I do have a base shaper in this bag and the base shaper is from M Boutique. I have a code down below for you guys. I do not receive commission from M Boutique. I simply like to share the discount code for you in the event that you're in the market to you know, purchase a base shaper. I think it adds a nice touch to the bag and makes it look a little more like a formal handbag and less like a wallet on chain. So as I mentioned, this is in the silver detail hardware. This is a Chanel authentic piece made in Italy. And because this is a newer version, they no longer come with the authentication card. They now come with this little authentication plaque here. You'll see I still have the sticker on there. It's kind of sticking out there. I haven't removed the sticker yet. And you've got that nice front pocket here, the beautiful zipper, which is where the plaque remains. And you can close this zipper for added security just want to be cautious when storing the bag and closing it that the zipper is laying flat otherwise it will dig into the leather here and then you do have a back pocket so the zipper compartment has both a front middle which is where the zipper is and then a back compartment pocket then you have the main compartment as i mentioned i do have that base shaper here and it helps to kind of open the bag up a little bit more. So I would highly, highly recommend purchasing a base shaper if you are looking at considering or already have a wallet on chain. And then you have these card slots, which I rarely, if ever, use. The purpose of a wallet on chain is that you don't have to use a wallet with it, hence the card slots. So the idea is that you would put your cards in here and store them as such, keep your cash and anything else that needs more security in the zipper compartment. And then the main compartment you can use for your lipstick, makeup, and whatnot. Then you have this other zipper compartment here. The nice thing about this is that it does go all the way down towards the back of the bag. So this zipper compartment, you could hide things back here and it will go, it'll reach all the way towards the back here. So my finger is right down here where my thumb is in the inside of the bag. Um, it's said that Coco Chanel used to use that compartment to hide love letters, uh, but who knows if that's true. I think it's a sweet idea. So let's go ahead and see what fits inside this bag. Do have a bag of goodies here. So I just have some loose items that I would normally carry with me just for reference to see what fits. Now, I know most of you are gonna be wondering whether a phone fits, so let's start with that. Now, I am using my phone to film, but I have my phone case here. So it does fit a cell phone. For reference, I have the iPhone 15 Pro in the regular size. It is not the Max, but it looks like perhaps the Max could potentially fit inside the bag. So that is the regular iPhone 15. And let's see, you have space for a lip gloss. Let's see if a compact will fit. It's a little tight. I would probably have to remove this piece from the phone. Yep, you have to be strategic with how you place your items in the bag. So here I have a sample size La Roche-Posay serum, upright. 
I have another sample size Charlotte Tilbury cream. And I love this magic cream. It is amazing, especially under makeup. I'll try and link all of the items that I'm featuring down below for you in case you're interested. I have one of my favorite chapsticks. This is a tinted chapstick. So if you're out and about and you can tell I've gotten a lot of use out of this, I'm actually wearing it today because I'm working from home and I sometimes don't feel like putting lipstick on, but I need a little color. So this is my favorite Burt's Bees. I'll link this one down below for you as well. Nice little color, nice little burgundy red without being over the top, very moisturizing. So very comfortable to wear. I'm gonna add two more lipsticks. These are all lipsticks that I wear, my favorite colors. I love these colors for fall and winter. This one I actually wear year round. So it is pretty full, it does carry quite a lot. Um, I could probably fit my AirPods as well. Okay, now the nice thing about the most recent or the newer versions of the wallet on chain as well is the magnetic closure. That is the biggest difference on the older version versus the bigger. So two main differences again, the older version comes with the authentication card and it's a button closure. You have to finagle a little bit to get it to close. The newer version has the magnetic closure with the plaque so you don't have to be bothered with the authentication card. It does fit quite a bit, especially with the M Boutique base shape that I have. So we're going to go ahead and just take these items out and see if the same items will fit in the square classic flap. And make sure to watch till the end. I'm going to be announcing my giveaway. So just stay tuned. Classic flap square. They do have a variation of this in the rectangle version. I believe it comes out to about so. It's a little bit wider and shorter, but this is the square mini, and I just absolutely love this bag. Now, this is the inside. Now, this one does not come with the plaque. Remember, I purchased this about three years ago, so this is one of the older models. So this one has the authentication card. It does have the back zipper here, and this one does not go all the way to the bottom. Well, I guess it does. It reaches about here. This is where my finger is. But it doesn't feel like it's the back of the bag per se. It's like its own little pocket compartment. You've got the back pocket here, which you also do on the walk, right? So you've got that Mona Lisa Smiles back pocket. You've got it here as well. And I love the fact that the lambskin is very easy to get in and out of because it's soft and it's not as structured. And for that reason, I think you can fit a little bit more, but let's go ahead and try the phone first. So the phone would be very, very snug. Would probably not fit a phone. Well, it looks like it fits just so. Maybe if I take out the pop socket, it'll fit better, but it looks like it fits towards the back. All right, we got that to fit. Now let's put in the rest of our items. And let's see if the so it's a little snug, but it actually fits more than the wallet on chain, in my opinion. I think part of it is because it's the lambskin, but it's probably pretty tight. I know I don't know that I would pack all of this in here just because it is lambskin and you want to just be cautious not to tug on it too much. But let's put the exact same items we had in the wallet on chain. And yes, this fits very, very comfortable. In fact, if you wanted to throw a couple of smaller items, smaller than the AirPods, you could probably fit that very easily. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you are team Square Mini or if you are team Wallet on Chain, I think both of these are great bags. I think both of them have pros and cons. Like I've discussed in my other videos why I love the Classic Flap Mini. I've actually worn this bag on my travels. I've worn her as a crossbody on flights. Love her because she is very much a day to night bag. And I think part of that is because of the color, whereas the beige is more of a daytime bag in my opinion. I don't know that I would wear this in the evening unless I was going to dinner. But for me, it's probably not 
a wedding bag or a formal event bag or a gala bag. Whereas this, I think you can get away with. You can tuck the straps in and hide them inside and wear it as a clutch if you wanted. I have not personally worn it like that, but I'll just show you what it looks like. For evening, I tend to wear her as a shoulder bag, whereas during the day, I wear her as a crossbody. But you could kind of carry it like so and just have the chain strap dangle there in the front. And she's very cute, very, very cute. So I think this looks, uh, it looks wonderful as an evening bag. You can make her formal, informal, casual. There's many ways to wear this bag. So if I was in the market for these two, it's, it's hard. Which one would I choose or start with first? I think it's a little bit harder for me. My own personal opinion, I did start with the mini square first, and then I purchased this one last year. I felt like I needed to get my hands on the mini because I knew the price increases would just continue, and I knew the popularity of this bag would skyrocket. It's technically considered a handbag, so in terms of prices, the, the Square Mini will always be a little bit higher than the Wallet on Chain. And I'll just confirm that for you and link it below. The Wallet on Chain tends to be, for most designers and fashion houses, tends to be a little bit lower on the price chain simply because it's a wallet on chain. It's really not considered a actual handbag. You can convert it to look like a handbag with the M Boutique Base Shaper, but technically it is not a handbag. It is a wallet on chain, whereas this is considered a handbag. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy all things handbags, luxury goods, and more. Let's go ahead and get right into my next giveaway. I did attend the 2023 Sephora event. I had the honor and privilege of meeting skincare gurus such as Dr. Dennis Gross. Now, I love to share. I tend to be a very generous person. So I want to share some of these goodies and giveaways with you. If you don't already follow me on Instagram and TikTok, I will be featuring more updates there. And I also do outfits of the day. I show how I style my bags and my luxury goods. So definitely follow me there. So if you want to enter the next giveaway, I'm doing three giveaways. I've already completed one of the three. Shout out to Ravina again, who won my first giveaway. I'll be doing another giveaway this month, and then the last one will be right around for the holidays. The giveaway requires you to A, subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up, follow me on Instagram, if you don't have TikTok, that's okay, but if you do, please follow me on TikTok as well. And for those of you that do follow me on both YouTube and Instagram, please tag three users on Instagram. There's no celebrity accounts, please. No accounts that already follow me, three new individual accounts that don't already follow me. And you get a bonus entry if you share my giveaway details to your story. So I will be posting my giveaway details on Instagram shortly after this video goes up. So stay tuned for that. Due to shipping costs, I am going to keep this to USA residents only. So if you are outside of the US, you are not qualified to enroll in this giveaway just yet at this time. I apologize, but I will look to include my international subbies in the future. And once I reach 1000 subscribers, I will be unboxing a special item I purchased from Chanel. She is actually right over here. I'm gonna feature her. I have not unboxed her yet. I purchased this item last week. I am holding on to her until I reach 1,000 subscribers. I'm gonna hold myself to it, but I'm eagerly awaiting the opportunity to unbox this beauty. So help me get to 1,000 YouTube subscribers so I can unbox this for you guys and show you what I got. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Until next time, bye.